Hi, how are you doing guys? It's John here from CyberNatives.com uh, Just having a bit of solitaire here but um, as you can see it's not the most exciting of games in the world although, you know, slightly addictive but uh, have you ever just wanted to just play something that's just absolutely amazing? I know I have and um, sadly when it comes to uh, playing on a netbook like this or even on your mobile phone you are restricted to the graphics power of the device itself so luckily yesterday in the UK a service called On Live uh, was launched and um, it's going to really change I think the way that games are brought to you on your home entertainment system um, now first of all I'll show you the On Live Android application here which I have on my phone um, if I just turn off notifications first because we don't want to get disturbed all the time now if I load it up here for you you'll get to see exactly what I mean now originally this was for the HTC flyer but obviously someone has very cleverly uh, ported it across so that you can use it on your you know your other Android device as well let me just turn the brightness down here a bit okay so once you sign up to OnLive and uh, sign in you will get the following screen up here Now as you can hear, it's slightly jerky on my phone. Um, and I'm not sure whether that's because it's in you know version one of the application, and also it obviously hasn't been designed for this uh, phone. But uh, either way, it still works quite well. Um, sadly, you can't play any games on it yet. But then you can't on the HTC Flyer version either at the moment. But you can actually go into the arena and. Uh, you can actually watch other people playing. So if we find something that looks rather interesting, let's click on here. We can then watch what this person is actually doing. So they're playing Assassin's Creed. It looks like he's struggling to uh, do something there. I'm not sure whether he's going to... Oh! There we go. So you can see the quality of it is really good. That's um, you know, as sharp as you would see on a on a console or PC. And this is all streaming straight from the internet. So here I get my chance to uh, either thumbs up or thumbs down his performance, uh, add them as a friend or view their profile. Now if I'm, gonna, I'm just going to go back now and we'll have a look at someone else instead. Let's have a look. I'm playing a driving game there. You see this, the interface is really seamless, it, it just works really quickly. And um, you know, I haven't got a super amazingly fast broadband or anything, but um, it works great. So what I will do, as we obviously can't play any games on here, is I will show you um, the PC interface while I wait for the games to be enabled to, to work on the phone. So not strictly all HTC Desire today, but um, I'm sure you'll, once you see what I mean, you'll understand what this will be able to do at some point. Okay, so my setup here is a one-year-old MSI uh, netbook, which has got no you know, special graphics card or processor in it at all. If we have a look in the system preferences, you'll see it's actually quite measly. So it's a, a sort of mobile processor running at 1.66 gigahertz, and uh, the graphics card is a built-in Intel, you know, one of those rubbish things. There's no way in I this could run any decent games. I've managed to get it to run a few games like Braid through Steam and uh, some of the Big Fish Games website, but um, apart from that, it's just it can't do anything basically, and that isn't what I bought it for. But uh, luckily, On Live has uh, changed all that now. So, for example, if I wanted to play my copy of Unreal Tournament 3, I'd have been completely stuck because uh, recommended system requirements are 2.4 gigahertz dual core processor with a gig of memory and a decent graphics card, not an Intel piece of junk like is on here. So, 
Um, let's show you the service, shall we? What I have got here, just on the left here, is my broadband modem, which I've enabled to show the actual speed of my connection while I'm playing the game, so you'll be actually be able to see what sort of connection you'll need for this and how much data is used by just playing a game. Now I've also got up my Xbox controller connected up wirelessly, um, which I will show you here. And just to prove it's all doing what it should be doing, if I zoom in a bit you can see me moving things around here and pressing buttons and clicking things. So that is, you know, there's no trickery on here. I'm not trying to fool you into thinking, uh, you know, this laptop can play amazing games. We're just going to use the online service and see how it goes. Now this is currently in kilobits per second. You may not be able to see it properly, so we're only using about three or four kilobytes at the moment while it logs into the system. You see now it's gone up to three and a half megs while it's loading up this uh, intro sequence. <coughs> I'm going to turn the sound down a tiny bit. But this does actually support surround sound, so if, if you had a PC connected up to your surround sound system, you could actually quite happily play any game that supports surround sound. So as you can see here, I'm moving this around and it is controlling the, the uh, menus, which is good. So I'll just have a quick look around the arena, see what's going on. Again, all the time you can see here, what is uh, happening on my broadband connection. So let's have a look here, this looks like a good race. Oh, he's not doing too well. So I might just want to go up to, down to here and just give him a thumbs down because he's, he's driving poorly here. And uh, even though it's in the snow and the visibility is pretty poor, I think that's a, a poor effort, to be honest. So we come out of here. What else have we got here? We've got someone playing a first person shooter. Now obviously this isn't going to replace consoles, certainly not with today's broadband speeds, in terms of reaction times and uh, you know all the latency that you'd get from a system like this. So, but that's that's not what this is really for particularly. As you can see, the, I mean the graphics on here are just you know outstanding. It's all HD and um, you know instant uh, <laughs> instant streaming, which is just really quite impressive. So anyway, let's actually play a game rather than just bore you with what other people are playing. Okay, now I've got a Deus Ex, but uh, I'm actually going to play something from the bundle, such as uh, Unreal Tournament 3, which is the last one I played. So uh, let's load that up and you can see what it's like. So while it's loading the game you get a little preview here, but obviously it's loaded quite quickly so um, I don't need to worry about it. Now you, you can use the keyboard and mouse, as you can see here I'm moving the mouse around, but um, I'm just going to use the, um, the joypad as it's connected up. Let's just start it. I'm just going to move this over slightly so you can try and get a better picture of the speed as well. Okay, so while we're just waiting here for it to load up, not using much internet at the moment, because obviously the loading is being done on the uh, other other computer. Okay. So, let's try and, uh, I'll try and show you if there's any lag or anything. Oh. Baker, start with the stationary target. Switch to your impact hammer and smash that welding broom. Okay, sounds like you're through. Now switch back to your shock rifle and shoot the door controls. I'll give you a head start, but you better find me before I find you. Okay. 
Okay, so that, there's a slight bit of a lag initially when it when the game first loaded up, but uh, as you can see now, it's running pretty pretty well, and it's all you know. You can see here, it looks like it's running pretty pretty good to me. I haven't you can't really notice anything particularly apart from the fact I can't play. There we go. Right, so we can uh, kill her a few more times. My aiming is absolutely terrible. It's quite sensitive actually, I'm, I might need to adjust the sensitivity of the crosshair. I'm used to playing Halo and things like that, which are a bit slower than this. But you get the idea, that's working pretty quickly. So if I just kill her one more time. Don't know how that didn't kill her. There we go. We can uh, jump into another game. If, if we press on the guide here, you get the uh, on live menu here, so you can quickly check your friends, check your messages and other bits and pieces, and you can also go and find another another game to play. So let's just find one quickly, which sounds good. Um, flat out 2, that's always a good game to play. At the end of this I'll show you the total amount of uh, broadband usage that we've had over the last few minutes. So let's just quickly get into here. There we go, let's just have a single race. Might just give you an idea of the sort of controls and the speed of things. Jesus Christ. Okay, it doesn't help if you drive into a tree, but uh, let's try and get out of there. I think we might have to uh, reposition ourselves here. I'm actually completely stuck. Okay, not a great example of a... Uh, let's exit that game. So let's say we can do the free trial of um, Duke Nukem Forever, see what that looks like. Still have his arm. 
of his balls. Go get him, Duke. You got this. So there we go. I'll leave it at that for the moment. But um, you get an idea of what we are going to expect soon. So hopefully this will be updated on the flyer, HTC flyer, quite soon. And then anyone who's rooted their phone, or not even, <laughs> should be able to um, play it on their desire or whatever. So, um, yeah, I hope you've uh, found it interesting. We'll just have a quick look at the usage here. Okay, so let's have a look. Right, so that 20 odd minutes of playing used up about just over 400 megabytes, um, as you can see here. So that, I mean, obviously, you'd want a, an unlimited um, broadband package if you're going to be playing it all day long, but uh, that just gives you some idea of. Uh, what to expect. So hopefully you've enjoyed the video, found it useful, and uh, I'll keep you updated as to when it comes out on Android properly, and uh, we'll do a proper review of it then. See you later.